Welcome to the Tech Talks Daily Podcast, where you can learn and be inspired by real-world examples of how technology is transforming businesses and reshaping industries in a language everyone can understand. Here is your host, Neil C. Hughes. Welcome back to the Tech Talks Daily Podcast, where we're not going to be talking about the latest smartphone, Black Friday sale, or tech dystopia. But every day we explore how technology can have a positive impact in the world and get back to solving real problems. Now, I recently came across a company called Vault and the Vault platform is transforming the workplace for all the right reasons. Ultimately, Vault's mission is to use technology to remove unconscious bias and rebuild trust between the employer and employees. But I wanted to learn more about that story and how the COVID discrimination feature in Vault is actually benefiting employees and employers. So buckle up and hold on tight so I can beam your ears all the way to London so we can speak with Tori Reichman all about the Vault platform and the difference that they're making with equality, equity, gender parity and discrimination, all by leveraging technology. So a massive warm welcome to the show. Can you tell the listeners a little about who you are and what you do? Absolutely. So we are disrupting the world of misconduct reporting and transforming it from outdated to outstanding. I'm Tori Reichman, the VP Commercial at Vault Platform. Um, Some interesting stuff to know about us is that to date, we've equipped over 20,000 employees from over a dozen companies to be able to surface any hidden misconduct that they experience so that our clients can address it and improve their ethical and cultural health while building trust across their organization. Vault Platform is an innovative reporting and resolution solution. It features a mobile app and a corporate platform that replaces broken incumbent tools like the telephone hotline by enabling employees to speak up about any corporate or behavioral misconduct that I mentioned before. We help businesses protect their investments in diversity, inclusivity, and equality by giving their employees a safe space to be able to raise concerns should something go wrong. And we are actually designed to support very large multinational organizations of thousands of employees. Um, And excitingly, because we've built a configurable technology, we're also able to support slightly smaller companies of hundreds of employees. Fantastic. And before you came on, I did do a little research on you guys, and I quickly learned that the Vault platform is often described as trust tech, which is incredibly cool. It's got a great ring to it, which is a a new category of ethics enabling workplace technology, solving a major problem for enterprises such as uh, around things such as compliance, risk, and HR, etc. But can you expand on that and how you're helping protect businesses and their people from from hidden risks like that? Yeah, absolutely. And while the category of trust tech is new and super cool, um, there should be no mistake that we're actually disrupting an incumbent industry and a longstanding but not yet solved problem. And so the problem is really this. This misconduct, whether it's behavioral like discrimination or, or harassment or corporate like conflict of interest or fraud, it's still present in many companies around the world. And the reality is that only about 25 percent of misconduct that is experienced ever really gets reported, which means that there is approximately 75 percent that goes unreported and unaddressed. And so Vault has come in to transform the paradigm and create a safe psychological space for employees so that they can speak up and able to give the company their ability to precisely hone in and identify the sources of the problems taking place so that they can really focus their investments on improving the ethical and cultural health. So can you tell me more about the story behind the Workplace Misconduct and Resolution app? Because I believe the Me Too movement inspired you guys. But can you tell me more about the story? Yeah, absolutely. Um, So to clarify, I was personally inspired to join Vault based on based on my own experiences. But it's really our co-founders, Netta and Ratem, who personally felt compelled to create Vault and change the landscape. Um, A brief version of our origin story is that Vault was conceived, as many startups are, born from personal pain. So our co-founders had experienced misconduct firsthand nearly a dozen years ago. And when they saw the news about Harvey Weinstein breaking back in 2017, they looked at each other and said, why hasn't this problem been solved yet? 
Couldn't we use technology to root out workplace misconduct? Would all of these victims have spoken up sooner if they knew that they weren't alone? And that's where, that's really where they came to a head and were able to set off and and get the business going. And for anybody listening, a lot of what we're talking about here is really resonating with them. Can you tell me more about how the Vault platform can actually advance um, equality and, and racial equality all across the workplace? Because it's you're really making a difference here, aren't you? Yeah, and it's it really comes down to giving everyone, regardless of their level or their position in the company, um, a voice, a mechanism so that they can tell their employer directly and not via an external partner party or a hotline about what they've experienced. And so by giving people this voice, by allowing them to speak directly internally about what's happening, we are able to give the organization as a whole a healthy degree of visibility into the investigation process so that companies and employees alike can be accountable to help get to a resolution. And it puts everyone on equal footing, no matter what like I said, what position they're in or what background they come from to be able to talk about what's happening so that together they can work to take action and remediate it. And there's also a feature on the Vault platform called Go Together, which I believe allows users to pull their evidence and jointly file a claim, a feature that's vital to helping give victims more power. But can you expand on that? So to clarify, go together, it's not exactly about pooling evidence and jointly filing a claim. Okay. However, it's about providing employees the psychological safety to know that they're not alone. They are not the first or the only person to identify an alleged perpetrator. And it enables the employer to connect the dots on repeat offenders. So the way it works is that every user does create their own report and they have their ability to include supporting material as part of that report. Go Together kicks in at the point when you're ready to submit. You're able to submit using Go Together, which means that your report is only released to the company once the condition is met that one or more similar reports have been submitted. And that's how you're able to say, this happened to me, someone perpetrated this offense, but I don't want you to know unless I'm not the only person. And once in the background, those dots are connected, the reports are then released to the company. And so that's how you get the safety in numbers. Now, we're both talking in the UK where we're we're both locked down at the moment. And there is a, a lot of talk of how the pandemic has, has uh, almost been a digital accelerant and transformed many industries and many businesses. But I'm curious, how have you seen COVID-19 affecting diversity and inclusion across businesses? Yeah, so this is where where my tone changes a little bit. I actually think we're in real danger of setting the clock back. Um, there was some research published in July this year from U.S. academics at different universities, and they looked at historical data, and they actually found evidence that old biases tend to reemerge strongly during economic crises like this one. And so the result really is that business leaders will go back to their flawed beliefs almost for comfort. They do this even though there's clear evidence that diversity and inclusion have positive impacts. Um, and so there's evidence that the clock is slowing. I'll give you some examples. In 2019, the proportion of women in senior management roles rose globally to 29%. And this was the highest number ever recording, according to the World Economic Forum. But in 2020, this percentage remained flat, so still at 29%, despite the significant jump the year before. I'll give you another data point. Our friends at pay equity firm Syndio have deep concerns that COVID is exacerbating existing pay and opportunity disparities between genders and ethnicities. So the company found that in women in general are more likely to see the impact on their career due to the effects of COVID on their performance and or productivity, but it's actually more pronounced among non-white women. So Hispanic and African-American women are more likely to fear this. And actually, 35 percent of Hispanic women who were surveyed said it would affect their careers, quote unquote, a great deal. And 30 percent of African-American women said the same. Of the white women that were surveyed, only 14 percent believed their careers would be affected a great deal. I was going to say there's some incredibly worrying stats there, isn't there? It is. It is. And it's it's information that when you have it, you are able to do something proactive about it. But I think we're at a point in time right now where people, companies are still looking around thinking, 
is there really an effect? What's the effect? And and I'm a little concerned that companies aren't moving quickly enough to be able to change what they already instinctively know is happening. And one of the reasons I invited you on the podcast today is how you're being so proactive and using technology to create solutions to things like this. And at the, I believe there's a COVID discrimination feature in Vault, which is aimed at benefiting employees and employers alike. But can you tell me more about that too? I think it might be helpful if I share some use cases, actually, of how yeah. our clients are using Vault. So as it relates to COVID specifically. So the first thing that's really cool is that our technology is configurable so that we've worked with companies and we continue to work with companies so that they can decide on the types of information they want employees to be able to speak up about. And so we worked very closely with one of our clients in the advertising sector who said they want to be able to enable employees to raise a flag if they are living in a domestic abuse or violence environment as a result of COVID. And so they said they want to create a mechanism for employees to secretively speak up and raise this flag so that their company, their HR team can know that the person is living in a domestic abuse situation and actually even have the ability to securely message with the employee, even if the employee comes through anonymously. And so they've totally changed the way Vault was conceived in being able to report an issue, a risk of domestic abuse or violence, and just keep the information secure and go back and forth anonymously so that the company doesn't need to know who the individual is. And the individual, because the, because the app lives on their personal mobile device, they have the ability to keep it password protected, to keep it secure so that the person that they're at home with is never able to access it and see what's happening. Another way clients of ours are using Vault to raise concerns about their own health and well-being is that employees can actually report symptoms or inform employee, employers of their need to shield or even ask questions about furlough, for example, during this COVID time. And we will have a few techies listening, so I'd love to take a little look under the hood and learn a little bit more about the technology that makes it all possible. So without revealing too many of uh, your, your secrets, well, can you tell me a little bit about the tech behind the Vault platform? Absolutely. So I think one of the exciting things for me is that we've developed an enterprise-grade technology. So it is ISO 27001 certified. It meets SOC 1 and SOC 2 standards. And it's being used at multinational corporations where all of compliance, employee relations, human resources, and general counsel are primary users. And it's all through one simple system. And at the same time, the app was designed for the employee, putting their personal experience and their psychological safety at the core of the journey, at the core of the journey. And so we've created a platform that marries the needs of both the employee and the organization. And then to pull that all together, we've created a unique algorithm that enables the trademarked go together technology that we talked about before. And we've been able to deliver efficiencies to our clients so that they can move through their investigations up to 30% faster because they have all the information they need at the outset when beginning their report. And we've talked about the problem and how you're how you've created a solution here by leveraging technology. But I'm curious, what do you think will happen to, to businesses that don't take this responsibility seriously? So I, it's a great question. Um, I probably have two components to answer yeah. that. Um, so I think the first is that we're already seeing example of companies who aren't taking this seriously. There are some names that come to mind. Recent news reports were employees at the likes of Adidas, Pinterest, Ubisoft, Wirecard, just to name a few, these employees went out to the media to share their concerns because they either couldn't or wouldn't share their concerns internally. I think also in light of the Black Lives Matter and Me Too movements, we've seen that employees are calling for, Im for implementing new tools internally so that they can report misconduct because they see that the incumbent tools don't work. The companies that I just named all have a third-party telephone reporting hotline in place. The good news is that companies like our clients are waking up to the need of doing things differently because they know that having a healthy speak up culture is is in their employees and the company's best interests and because it creates trust, um, which is so desperately needed right now. 
It really is. And I think technology gets such a bad rap right across the board sometimes. So what is it that makes you hopeful about the role that technology will play in promoting ethical behaviour in the workplace, not just in 2021, but but and beyond too? Yeah, well, I, I think it's safe to say, especially to your audience, um, that we are living in a tech world. Yeah. And, you know, Tech has has normalized as a part of everyday life and it's second nature, regardless of generation, across generations. And so it does underpin the ways that we work. I think what I've seen and what I um, think moment where I think momentum will pick up is that with the distributed workforce normalizing, tech is undoubtedly one of the strongest ways people and teams will remain connected. So in terms of what makes me hopeful, I actually have a carrot and stick answer. The carrot is that people and companies want to exist in a healthy and productive environment. They see that they no longer need to suffer in silence and there are ways of speaking up that they didn't have before. The stick is that with tech, nothing actually ever fully disappears. And so the misconduct that we've seen over the recent years and are still seeing, despite the fact that people are waking up to this, is that the misconduct is actually more easily verifiable than ever before. And with tools like Vault, where you can include supporting documentation when you are ready to come forward, the questions start to dissipate and companies are able to more effectively say, I see this happened, I'm going to take action. We are going to move to this idealized ethical world that we all desperately want to live in. I love that. And for anyone listening that would like to carry on the conversation we started today or just find out more information about the great work that you're doing, can I just ask that you point everyone listening in the direction of the best way of doing that? Oh, I would love to. So you can find us at vaultplatform.com. It's V-A-U-L-T. P-L-A-T-F-O-R-M.com, or we're on LinkedIn at Vault Platform. Um, you can find me on LinkedIn. I'm Tori Reichman, or you can feel free to message me directly at Tori, T-O-R-I, at vaultplatform.com. Well, thank you so much for joining me on the podcast today. I think if if anything, COVID has shown that technology can be deployed to solve problems incredibly quickly this year. And I love how you've created a tech solution focused on protecting the company by protecting their people. And I always say at the end of every episode that technology always works best when it brings people together. And that's exactly what you're doing here. So a big thank you for taking the time to share your story with me today. Oh, thank you so much, Neil. It's been great to chat with you. This year, we've all seen a growth in activism, and that means more whistleblowing and public drama for businesses if they don't start treating people equally. And companies have to take this seriously now, and it's time to put action to all those words. I also love the story behind the company and how something that has come from an incredibly painful place is now making a positive difference. And of course, technology is at the heart of that positive change too, which is what this podcast is all about. And this is a conversation that I'd love to keep going. I'd love to hear your experiences, solutions that you've put in place or solutions that you've seen put in place or a business that's not doing it particularly well. Whatever it is, please email me now, techblogwriter at outlook.com. My website is techblogwriter.co.uk. If you'd want to just send me a message, ask a question, or even if you want to come on this podcast and share your story, we can do that too. That's how it works around here. It's not all about me or even today's guest. It's about everyone sharing ideas together and learning how we can move forward together. Because like I always say, technology works best when it brings people together. And on that somewhat cheesy moment, (laughs) I'm going to go now. But have no fear. I'll meet you here same time, same place tomorrow where we'll have another guest and we'll talk about how technology is transforming another industry or solving real problems. So hopefully I'll speak to you then. But a big thank you for listening. And until next time, don't be a stranger. Thank you for listening to the Tech Talks Daily Podcast with Neil C. Hughes. Remember, technology works best when it brings people together.